This bunch of wild, funk-obsessed Swedish youth may owe more than a little to the rhythms of Funkadelic and Parliament, but they've turned the groove into their own and put the sleepy town of Gothenburg on the funk map. Gothenburg is much more rock-oriented uh, compared to uh, Stockholm. So, uh, like, we are the only, uh, the only funk band in, uh, in Gothenburg. Like, Papa D comes from Gothenburg as well, but uh, other, other than, than that, that, more, let's say, hardcore <laughs> music. Okay, let's take this on the top, man. No more ups. One, two, horns. Soft and mellow, but I hope you can follow. Can you follow? Soft and mellow, but I hope you can follow. Although they have made a name for themselves here at MTV with videos like this, they are a band that really come alive on stage. It's a wonderful time for us as a band, I think. It's yeah. what we always wanted, you know, to break the barrier and get outside and see how a different audience would, would react to it. I mean, Sweden is such a small country, eight million people. I mean, since we started, we always wanted to uh, get abroad and play and stuff. How do you think audiences outside Sweden will react to you if the audience is already inside? I think it's all a bit weird. And then outside... Well, I don't think... They, they don't think it's weird. They're just surprised that at the beginning of a concert. But after they've seen us in concert, they think, oh, it's great. I mean... Uh, much better than any rock band I ever seen and stuff. That's what they say. They are part of the much talked about expanding Swedish dance scene. <laughs> if you really want to go far back, it's the last oh. 10 years. It's really been growing as rapid as this. But the last two years has been incredible for Swedish dance music. I hope it continues that way. But you know, there's the future coming to my soul and my bone. Whilst the stone funkers funk Sweden, the divinals have been causing a stir by touching themselves.